Hello there and welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories Reverse Rebirth. I still am not getting that intro right every time. I am the RN Genius, but you may call me Eric. And in the last episode we um, explored almost all of Agrabah. In the meantime, I caught two flies in midair. Yes, I'm able to do something like that. I, I, I might sound like a very bad person, but I... I hate flies, I hate insects of all kinds, and if they are in my flat, I feel obligated to hunt them down and, um... Well, you know what you do with insects that you don't want to have around. So, this morning they were too fast for me to catch, but now they were flying pretty slowly and I was able to catch them in mid-air. And then I drowned them and, well, flooded them down the drain. That sounds awful, I <laughs> mean, that sounds... Really awful. That's okay though. That is gonna be how that goes. The problem with flies really is that if you if you have one, one fly is no problem. But flies multiply seemingly. And if you have one fly, it's not gonna be too too long till you have not one fly, but ten flies. Yeah, you don't. You don't do that. I want that car bad. Where are you gonna appear? Good. I'm gonna do this, then I will get my combos in. He's probably gonna st start trying to sting me soon. I'm surprised that he is not attacking right now. No! Damn it, that was my insurance! No, okay, fine, I have to. I have to deal with that my own way then. I do not have a singular nine in my deck. That's bad. That's bitter. That that was an undodgeable attack, I think. I was give me that Mickey Mouse card. I need that Mickey Mouse card right now. Ooh, you shot that right there. What I'm gonna do now is use Maleficent because my insurance policy got blown to pieces and thus I have to now do this the way that it was always meant to be done that was extraordinarily cheap I, I want that did that take a minute I don't know why I made such a fuzz about this fight with Sora this fight is much harder we have Jafar mm stop enemies from breaking attack cards you use that sounds nice doesn't it card index too far we have fat bandit increases damage when striking enemies from behind two reloads Jafar stop enemies from breaking attack cards you use 20 attacks I will try that out we now know Vexen number four in the organization he Laxius and Zexion have been in the group since its inception and there is no love lost between them and neo neophytes like Marluxia. After battling Riku, Vexen turns to events unfolding above ground, but su uh, successive failures lead to his determination by Axel. Yes, we know all that. Jafar, genie. A sorcerer and also Agrabah's royal vizier, visor, transformed by magic. Jafar appeared before Riku as a token of the indelible darkness in his heart. Man, I hate that indelible darkness. Soldier is a swift moving heartless that attacks its prey with a spin kick. Its whimsical nature makes the soldier a less than tenacious foe. Bandit, a heartless that my mainly appears in Agrabah, the bandit deftly wields the scimitar it carries and should be approached cautiously. Fat bandit, a heartless that mainly appears in Agrabah, the fat bandit repels frontal attacks with its jiggly belly and spits fireballs. I'm glad I don't have a jiggly belly. All right. I will not go directly into Castle Oblivion right now because I will go back and save. 
If I die, I expect to have to um, defeat Jafar again. No, actually, if you die and push continue, you just get to... Ah, oh, well, I, I made this way now, now it's too late. Now it's too late. Wait, with Jafar using zeros is really good because an enemy cannot break a zero. Because it's an attack card. And yeah, that's pretty good. But that's not going to be too useful in the mini... No, no I'm not going to do that in the near future. We're gonna be, we're gonna utilize Jafar, because Jafar costs, I believe, 65 card points to get him in your deck, and that is a hefty amount. But with Riku, he is free, and w why not use something that is free? I've been using Maleficent left and right. Why not use Jafar left and right? But I'll see to what what kind of deck I get to use him with, and it only goes for. For um, twenty attacks, anyways. La la da dum. Enemies cannot break attack cards. Let's see about that. But I think it only applies for attack cards that are already in play. Yeah, you cannot break every card with it, but the enemy just cannot break it. Hey, dudes, man! I really want to dodge that attack every time, but I cannot dodge through that attack. I'm always in the jump animation when that happens. Okay. I'm really... Uh, that's not... Well, that, that's great. I was not in the position that I was used to. No, Maleficent is better right now. I will see to the, the one that we get in Traverse Town as well. I don't know how that is going to work out with Riku. But attack cards have higher range sounds like a nice thing for Riku. Although I've never actually um, tried to use that. But we'll see. Traverse Town is the, is the last stop of this first... Volley, of course, if you didn't remember. Why did you knock your friend all the way over to Canada that right there? I wonder. Ouch, Sharoni! You have to be done now. There. And that should be the last enemy I fight in Agrabah. I will heal up. Because I'm afraid. Never mind. I wasn't afraid. I'm never afraid. Where did Vexen go? He's off using Riku's data to create some kind of replica. And what of Sora? Namine is shuffling his memories even as we speak. Marluxia may well get his puppet. He's a danger to us all. Larzine's not to be trusted either. Nor is Axel. Who knows what that one is thinking. Let's observe a little longer, then speak with Vexen. But Vexen despises Marluxia. Think of the mess it would create. That's why Vexen must be told. Better he clean up the mess than us. The mess. And yes, um, Zexion did have surgery. He has different vocal cords now. Because that voice, I think, fits him much better than the girlish voice I had previously for him. Of course, that is a guy who looks like a girl. He also looks like a punk. And I think that voice fits him. And Traverse Town has such good music! Oh, I did not take a singular look at my deck. Let me guess, you have... Whoa, 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 what? What the what? I basically have no cards.
Oh, hi. Oh, hi. This is gonna be easy. That deck looks horrible, but if I don't use card combinations, and I don't have to use card combinations, I will just be doing this and this and then this and then the deck is already there again. I have unlimited cards like this. So it doesn't matter and they're unlimited good cards. Okay, the shadow is not gonna be good because I only have five cards and let me check up on this. Card index, shadow, it only lasts for two reloads. Means 18 card, uh, 10 card usages. Blue Rhapsody. A magic wielding heartless that drifts through the air. The Blue Rhapsody attacks with Blizzard once it's close enough and absorbs Blizzard damage. How good for you. Okay, Traverse Town is gonna be a joke. Especially with Marluk, um, with with Maleficent, I always want to call it Mal Marluxia, but that's not true. Because um, this is not dependent on how many reloads you have, but on how many cards you use, which is very valuable here. If I had had to guess, I would have guessed that we have a soldier monster card in our deck. If you don't remember, Soldier Monster card actually um, increases your combos by one. No, by two. You have an, a five-strike combo with Sora. I wonder how, that, how what that does with Riku. Turns him into even more of a badass than he already is. Do you think Sora's uh, Riku is a badass? I think both of them are badasses. That's just how this goes. That's just the game, the, the game we're playing, an RPG. Let's, let's see it. What kind of map do we have? That's actually pretty big. That is bigger than I expected. I've heard that before. Well. But so far the fights have been, well refreshingly quick stagnant space don't do it those are fire attacks I probably should not be using captain hook here at any point because if you remember if I use the captain hook monster card it's gonna make me resistant against lightning and weak against fire and if I have to fight Lark Zine, that's going to be useful. If I have to fight anybody else, it's not going to be particularly useful. I'm 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 kind of bummed. These guys give no experience at all. It's almost no not worth fighting them. Even though I did go up a floor. Then again, what what do I expect from a level up? Wait, we are level... Yeah, I expect attack up. So I want at least one level here. And one level is enough. And then I can fight the boss and then I can already go to the next area. And I think we're gonna be able to fight the boss in the next er episode already. La -da 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 You would think this deck is horrible, but this is actually really good. But it's probably only because the the monster the monsters that we are facing, or not monsters, but the heartless that we are facing, are pretty damn weak. I wouldn't want to fight Vexen like this. No, that's not the door I want to take. That's the door I want to take. Higher than a five, I can deal. Lasting days is gonna be good. Oh, that was again the wrong thing. I wanted to use something completely different from that. I hope you cannot hear that ambulance, but I'm pretty confident my microphone would pick that up. Yeah, 
uses lasting days, doesn't even get the first hit. Just like in school. Wow, again! This area is not good for getting hits. Here's that level up. Gimme that juicy. And now I have a problem. 99 out of 99. What don't I use? A room where only few heartless appear. Yep, gone, gone, gone. I'll keep those. A room where a lot of heartless appear. Gone, 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 gone. I don't need a one of this kind. I don't need a three and a five either. Almighty darkness. I haven't even used one singular one of these. I hate those. Why would I voluntarily go into this room? Last sleeping darkness is good. Looming darkness also. Why would I voluntarily go into this room? Don't need these. Can't believe I got so many already. Then again, you don't get monster cards out of the fights, but I didn't expect that to be so significant. When are you calculating 62 here? That's six. I have... 9 15 18 oh, all right I'll I'll, I'll I'll admit that's probably 62 in all honesty game can calculate that but oh lasting days and he doesn't even get the first hit once that was a hell of a fight There, at least once. Now I can happily die. Now I feel like a predator. Which is a good feeling for once. I don't want to use that. But it's right there. Oh, my nose is tickling. Ah, my nose, my nose. Ooh. I have to scratch. Ow, 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 ow. I'm sorry, I have no self control. I know. I know. Alright. Don't you dare. Bum, 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 bum. Still enemies. I think I'm gonna rush for the boss this next. Using sleep, sleeping darkness rooms and then just go ahead. Without being able to jump this high, this would have been a damn annoying room. Alright, since I have so many Sleeping Darkness rooms, I might as well. That's the last one. I'm actually gonna fight that guy in this episode. And I cannot use that. I can use this. Because this won't take long. I just need to get a Mickey Mouse card and then we are going to be in a good place. Give me this fight. That's a Mickey Mouse card. All right, we have attack up. We are attacking a lot of guys. Okay, that was a card break. So since he doesn't get flung away, I can just do this and then I can attack him twice without having a card be torn to pieces. Do 
You use zeros now? You think you're good? You're not. My overdrive is going to wear off in a sec second. But now it's gonna be over. Wow, and I was worried about this fight being tough, but with this deck, no, 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 no. That was good. That was real nice. Give me that experience and give me that juice. Guard armor. You are right. Guard armor now is in my deck. Slightly extend the range of attack cards. Let's see what the report says about that. Slightly extend the range of attack cards. 30 attacks. And let me guess. Da, da, da. Oh, wait. And magic wielding heartless. And that drifts through the air. It's, it's flighty and hard to hit. Red Nocturne attacks with fire from a distance and absorbs fire damage. Guard armor! Heartless that haunts, traverse town, approach before Riku is a token of indelible, uh, indelible darkness in his heart. Wow, that was a surprise. Good. Oh, I almost got in a fight there and there as well. I want to get in one fight. Because guard armor, what do you do? Oh, man. He stretches. Riku stretches like this. Look at that, that's nice! That's really good! Okay, I've never noticed that that is actually useful. Um, that is going to be a fight against Ansem if I had to guess. Higher than 8. Uh, I can't deal. I mean, I do have higher than 8 cards, but... That's not gonna be good. I'm gonna fight this room and then I'm gonna go back to save. Damn. Guard armor is real good. I like that. If I attack with normal attacks, then I will be in a happy, in a good place, not a happy place. I'm probably never gonna be in a happy place as an introverted person. Hey! Don't do that. That was actually the wrong monster card I used there, but it's gonna be good anyways. Dun, dun, dun. Do you think these fights are over too quickly? I don't. I, I, I disagree. <laughs> I feel like I'm slaughtering them. I am. I am. You're right, but it feels good. It's a good slaughtering, not a bad slaughtering. There's good and bad slaughtering. Now there is. Okay, I was afraid I used the Shadow Monster card, but nope, I was activated. I, I had Overdrive activated. Ooh, those were all the monsters. That took a minute. Well, not, a, not an entire minute, only like 55 seconds, I know. Gotta be honest, gotta get my grammar straight. Never mind, I'm completely lying, of course. But that's okay, because this will mark the end of this episode. And you cannot tell me that we didn't achieve anything here, because... I just wrapped up Traverse Town in one episode. I think I think that's pretty good. I think I could mark that as a success. As a point to move forward from. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until next time, bye bye.